Ladies and gentlemen, your host, Sam Shane Brown. My name is Sam Shane Brown, and I am currently banned in Russia. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not really sure how this happened. We, we got this whole thing from YouTube explaining how our content is blocked in Russia due to like community guidelines stuff. It's ridiculous. I guess the commies just don't want me spreading my office hours loving Mother Russia. Where, where's Rocky <laughs> Balboa when you need it? Right? <laughs> all right, all right. Well, anyways. Uh, we are currently live on the LTV channel on this lovely Buffalo Bills Victory Tuesday. <laughs> real, real New York team, real New York team. No, oh, oh, what was that? Sorry. Uh, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, and as always, we have a great show planned out for this week. Today, I'm going to be joined by two very distinguished young gentlemen, and by that, I mean two gentlemen other than Ben Aronson, as, as much as I love him. <laughs> you know, you know, actually. The other day we were we, we we took the train to the city to get some footage and go out to dinner. We shot a Sam versus People bit, which is basically just me being an idiot in the city dressed in a suit for five minutes straight. We're, we're gonna air that on the next episode. It actually turned out really well, considering the fact that I attempted to interview random strangers at 10:30 p.m. in Times Square, and I'm somehow still alive and breathing. It's a true miracle. Actually. There were definitely some close calls, though. Uh, you'll see. Anyways, uh, Ben and a good friend of mine, Mr. Dylan Tovitz, who you'll see later in this episode, were planning on meeting me and a few other people for dinner in uh, like the Times Square area. So I was on the phone with Dylan trying to find him and Ben, and all of a sudden, the next thing I know, I turn around and there's Ben sitting across from some random dude in the middle of Times Square playing, you guessed it, chess. <laughs> Why? They, they, they had like clocks on the table that you're supposed to tap. You know the one you're supposed to tap it after every move too. It was a whole thing. Very professional. It was very professional. Now, I could see how some people out there may not think of Ben as really being the chess type, <laughs> but actually, I got a hand it to him. He certainly held his own. He did very well. I'd li I'd, I'd like to show you all the footage, but um, Ben's new chess buddy didn't seem very happy about having a camera in his face during the match. If, if that's what <laughs> Uh, we then all went to a barbecue place for dinner, which was uh, very good on the way in. Uh, um, that's all I'm going to say on how that meal went. But at the end of the day, very successful evening in the absolute greatest city in the world. I'd actually like to take this opportunity to once again thank my lovely mom and dad for deciding to raise me and my brothers, not in New York City, but in the suburbs of New Jersey, otherwise known as the armpit of America. Thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> all right, uh, moving on from that adventure. I love you, Ben. Uh, we have three different segments for today, uh, two of which are brand new and may go very poorly. I don't want to give anything away, but uh, let's just say we're all probably going to be learning a little more about each other on the show this week. Maybe a little more than we really want to. <laughs> all right, well, now is as good a time as ever for me to introduce our two guests for today, both veterans of the show. Please welcome to the set, Mr. Jake Goldstein and Mr. Alex Block. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I, I gotta say, I. We've had some, some well-dressed couches in the best. This is definitely the best-dressed couch we've ever had. Well, I yeah. feel so myself. We got, we got khakis. Yeah. They're khakis, and you know, the khakis are nothing but you know the tie. I think the tie, I, re tie the, the represents tie, it. The tie is what makes it. It really yeah. does. Mm -hmm. yep. it, it, the, to some people, it may seem a little bold, but I actually think it was, it was definitely the correct decision to go it, with the tie. It's thank something you, that you. only the Jacob can pull off. Mm -hmm. It, it, it really captures your personality. I feel so myself, thank yeah. you. All right, well, uh, it's really good to have both of you. Some of you may know, most of you should know, that Alex Block 
has actually been with us since day one, uh, doing various roles behind the camera. Sometimes you you hear his voice. He actually had an appearance on, I think the finale, right? On the finale, yeah, exactly right. Mm -hmm. And uh, now he here he is with his entire episode. Uh, thank you, Alex, for being here. Happy to be here, Sam. How does it feel? It's hot under these lights, it, you know? It, it really is hot under these lights. I was, you know, with the khakis, it's mm -hmm. hot. Yeah, I'm in a suit. Now. I couldn't imagine yeah, that. That jacket's got to be... It's, I'm okay that's now. Soft. Wait till like the 20-minute mark. I'm going to be dying in sweat over here. It's going to be dripping. Yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, Mr. Jacob Goldstein, also veteran of the show, you were on, I forget which episode it was. I but believe it was three or four. Three or four? Yep. It was somewhere around there, but yep. you, were, you were joined by uh, Dylan, right? I was. That was fun. That was a very fun episode. Uh, if, if my memory serves correct, uh, that was the episode where we played that. Remember, we played the prank on Dylan? Yep. Where yep, that was very funny. We went back and we found... And we found a uh, video there. Mm -hmm. I remember that one, too. I was there. Yeah, you were there, too. I was there. That was a lot of fun. Uh, now it's time for me to look at my trusty, personalized Office Hours note card that I'm going to make a great effort to show off due to the fact that... Um, they they were very overpriced. Um, okay, so what else is there to get into? We we have a fun show planned for today. I'm excited. Uh, like I said, two of these segments are brand new, never been done before. How do you feel? You're like the guinea pigs, kind of. I am. First, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also a little nervous. To you be sh honest. you should be a little nervous. Did you? Did somebody tell you? Did somebody give you a hint of what might be coming? Like I I think we've been hinted. We have a little hint, but honestly, I'm I'm still a little scared. Okay. Yeah. So am I. If it makes you feel any better. Perfect. Good. I'm That's always scared. Be. Well, I mean, this season we got a lot of new things. We got our trusty mugs. We you know. do. We do. Which, by the way, we sh we we need we need a clank. We need a clank. Let's get a let's get a clank right here. Jake clank. You got a clank too. Alex clank. Beautiful. Yeah. Cheers. I loved every second of that. Somehow water just tastes better in these mugs. I agree. I can't agree more. There's, there's something about it. Thank you, Miles' dad, for uh, taking the liberty of taking them home and washing them for all of us. Very thank you, Miles' dad. I think thank you. Thank you, John. Yeah, thank, thank you, you, John. What, you? A, what a great guy. But um, uh, like I said uh, a few minutes ago in my monologue, I did, when we were doing the Sam versus People bit in New York City, I was actually accompanied by uh, Alex Block. Yeah. Is there any? W I want to keep this on the low because I want a l I want to save a lot of it for a, a surprise for the next the next episode. Is there any little hint that you want to give them on what may be coming in that bit? So New York City is a big scary place, <laughs> and I didn't know that. And you know, also the Empire State Building is a little hard to find. The Empire State Building is a little hard to find. Uh, that's a uh, that's a hint. That is a hint. Do you know at all what's I going on? I have no idea. Jake Jake just showed up today. Said, "Give me a tie and tell that's me where to sit, and true. I will make comedy for you." That's very true. That's what he does. That's just how Jake works. Yep. Uh, actually, by the way, we need to me, you, and uh, Aiden need to make a tea time for this weekend. That's fair. I was thinking Sunday. Sunday? I think oh, I can do not? Sunday. Oh, that's actually where Shoshana. You're right. I definitely can't do Sunday. Scratch that, that mom. <laughs> Scratch that. We, we were just that. kidding. We knew what we were doing. We, we have a little bit of a, a friendly battle yep. on the links, yes, I would say. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. We always uh, tend to find a similar winner and a similar uh -huh. loser every time, I would uh -huh. say so. Uh -huh. We'll, we'll, we'll see well, what happens. You know, I hear about these uh, these golf games, too. I hear about the punishments that go down. and We had some good ones. We had some good We did. Would we make Aiden do that one time? <laughs> Uh, well, for one, he had to jump in a pool fully clothed. Yeah. Well, uh, not jump. We pushed him in. Oh, I was actually in. there for that as well. Really? Oh, well, one of the times. We, oh. uh, <laughs> and then the same thing happened to Aiden. <laughs> we uh, did that twice. And then we, uh, I think, also made him um, post something on a story. Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyways, moving on from that, I think it's time we get into our first segment. Sounds All good. Right, right. All right. So we're going to go back to our roots the first ever segment on Office Hours, actually. Ooh. Classic. Known as Overrated, Underrated. It is very self-explanatory, but I'm still going to explain it because that's what I do. <laughs> so, uh, uh, on this trusty, personalized Office Hours note card, which is hard to grab from the desk. <laughs> <laughs> that was a struggle. Uh, I have written 
uh, a bunch of different topics, and I'm going to say them out loud, and we have to judge if they are overrated or underrated. You guys ready to play? Yes. Ready as ever be. Okay. Topic number one. Netflix. Is it overrated or underrated? Are we doing a rated, like perfectly rated? Is that like an You can option, say perfectly rated if you want to, but you, you have to explain it. Uh -uh. So, you know, a go first? I would do one to go first. Okay. A lot of people know, I'm a big TV guy, but I think that Netflix is overrated as a streaming service. Mm -hmm. It's overpriced, overused. It's just because it's the original it does not mean it's good. Okay. I, uh, I'm actually doing something in physics right now. I'm doing a presentation on Netflix, which is kind of funny. Well, in physics? In, it's a long story. What? Miles knows. Uh, he's doing a similar uh, presentation, I think, on the color blue. The oh, color the blue. The color blue. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I do think ne Netflix, I'm going to agree with you, it's a little overrated just because they're starting to get rid of a lot of shows, which I'm not really happy about, and a lot of movies, which is quite annoying, because they're starting to make their own original series, and a lot of them don't aren't that good. Mm -hmm. Some of them are good, but a lot of them really aren't, and it's just, it's kind of decreasing the uh, Yeah. You know, o o over the summer, I was practically forced by some friends to watch Stranger Things because uh. I'd, ne I'd never seen it. I got, I'll, s I'll say this, season one is awesome. Everything after that uh, is kind of hard to watch. You know, it's on my list, but I haven't watched it quite yet. Really? Yeah. It's it like is. It is not on my list, and I don't plan on watching. Okay. Well, Netflix. I think we're all gonna have to agree on it's 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 a little so overrated. A little overrated. overrated. A little overrated. Okay. Uh, the next uh, topic we're gonna do peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. All right. Ooh. I'd say my mom makes a killer peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but I'd have um, to agree. Your mom makes killer peanut butter My and jelly sandwiches My mom does make a, pe a killer peanut butter so and jelly So let me tell you about a Block family delicacy right here. Okay. A peanut butter and jelly waffle. Whoa. You take two egg Whoa. waffles, toasted a little bit over so they're crispy, and then you put peanut butter and jelly on it, and you eat it as a sandwich, and it'll change your life. I'm, you know, I'm, that's exactly what I'm going to make when I get home. I feel it. like I now have a craving for that. you got to try it. it. It'll... It'll change your life. You'll be happier and a nice cup of milk with it. A cup of milk. A cup of milk and with a, a peanut I, butter. Just what? Just hear me out. You need you, no. Some you need people. Something. Some people call me insane. Others call me a genius. The milk's a little. Much. I don't think anyone Trust calls me, you a genius. You, you go home today and you're gonna eat it and you're gonna be like, this is missing something, and it's gonna be that cup of milk and you're gonna pour yourself. I really okay. don't okay. think anyone I'm, calls I, you a genius. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take your word for it. All right, okay. but but if, if it's not good, then I'm gonna be very. I'm yeah, gonna, if it's not good on the next segment, you need to on the next episode. I'm gonna up, I'm gonna you update to, you guys. Yeah, on I think the next you'll episode. need to update. You'll see. You guys will all see. Okay. Well, um, moving on from that. Yeah. Uh, overrated, underrated. Topic number three. We already touched on this a little bit. Topic number three is golf. Is it overrated or is it underrated? I think I'm going to uh, kickstart that one. <laughs> seeing that take, I, uh, take us but. away. Take us away. So when you are good at golf, it is very underrated. But, like, I mean, like, we're not good. So, like, it's, it's well, we're, we're decent. We're, we're not terrible. <laughs> we're decent. We're, um, see, w we're what decent. it is is there's days when you're good and there's yeah, days that's, when you're not so good. That's, um, that's a perfect way to put golf. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know. It's, it's like... It's a tough feeling because, like, some days you think it's so underrated because you, you know, you're, you, you shoot it's well. Like and everything's going. Yeah, right. everything's going well. You can putt, you can chip, you can do everything perfectly, and then the next day you go out and it's like, you're, you're terrible at it. Yeah. Um. As somebody who doesn't play golf, what, what do you think of the sport? I it's think golf is the single most overrated sport, if you can Ooh. call it a sport. I think I, I think golf, you need to be very talented to play golf, but I, I honestly think that it's a hobby because I, I'm going to get flamed for this, and I know my grandparents are watching this right now saying, Alex, of course golf is a sport. I'm sorry. Golf is a hobby. You definitely need to learn it. It's definitely something that's I disagree. athletic, but I disagree. I, I don't know. I have to disagree. I, to, 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 to 
I think it's the hardest sport. I think it's the hardest sport to be good at, per se. Okay, Th I think that's fair. Uh, maybe this is just where you and I disagree, Mr. Block. It's okay. Um, and Jay. I'm going to get flamed for this, but okay. you know. Topic number four is a topic that is actually discussed fairly often on Office Hours. Topic number four is Ben. Is Ben overrated? Be ben, just to confirm, just Ben Aronson? Just ben <laughs> Benjamin Aronson, just Ben. Yeah, I'll, I'll kick this one off. Ben is criminally underrated. Really? I think I think everybody here makes fun of Ben a little bit too much. I think I just heard claps coming. Yeah, from I oh, did yeah. just hear a that clap. Ben, ben, I'm looking at you. I see yeah, you. Yeah, that you was know. definitely Ben. I love you, ben. Yeah. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. He's Hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. What makes him What makes him underrated? Yeah. Because Ben is a loyal friend. He's there. he's always there for you when you need him. I agree. And he takes all of this this hatred from from everyone here at Office Hours, and H I, I, hatred. This abuse. We poke. We poke. We a, a little bit of poke. You poke at me too. A little bit of poke. We all poke each other. But right. Ben, uh, Ben takes the most, and I, I gotta say, Ben doesn't get the credit he deserves, and he's certainly Can a hard I ask worker. How much he's paying you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't disclose that, but <laughs> okay. a few Red Bulls are involved, and I, okay. Okay. okay, all right. All right. Just no. Uh, we love you, Ben. Thank you. Yeah, we, we love you, Ben. Thank you for everything that you do. Uh, I think that will nicely take us into uh, a little pre-recorded segment that we have. This is the first of the two brand new segments. Uh, we spent a long time actually just coming up with a name for it, but I think <laughs> we're going to go with Silly Confessions. <laughs> silly? I'm going to let past Sam explain it to you. All right, take it away. Thanks, future Sam. I'm here, joined by Mr. Alex Block and Mr. Jacob Goldstein, hey but also by a uh, familiar face from season one of Office Hours, Dylan Tobitz. How are you doing? Oh, fantastic. He's just thrilled to be here playing a little game that I like to call the Silly String Game. So today what we're going to be doing is, before we sat down to record this, we each had Miles write down two confessions that we did on uh, the little note cards. And then I'm gonna pick up the note card, I'm gonna read the confession, and then this is very important, we're gonna count to three, and then we're supposed to silly string <laughs> the person that we think did that. These are scented, by the way, and utterly disgusting. Yeah. Thanks, Miles, for choosing these out of all the silly strings you could've gotten. They're really stinky. All right, shall this we be- kinda good. Okay, no, 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 no. Shall no, we begin? Yes, we shall. Are our seatbelts on? Yes, they are shall. Okay. In sixth grade, my teacher stopped the entire class because I didn't know how to make my own bed. Okay, that is the first confession. Ready? Who do you want? Stop, 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 stop. Guys, you're getting too much and we're going to Was it? Was it you? It was me. It can't go. How do you know how to make a bed? I do feel you like know? I just got attacked. Do Why you did know? the teacher stop you because you didn't know how to make your bed? It's not make your bed class, it's gym class. Do you no, it's English class. Do you know, know how to make your bed uh, now? I do, I make it every morning. Okay. Everybody, okay. Hold up. This, this is disgusting. Let's yeah. go again. This was very... Yeah, so look who's at your counting? Shirt. I thought you were counting. Look what you did. I, and I was going to count, but Alex interrupted my counting. Thanks, Alex. I think it was more fun that way. All right, All right. I'm, I'm good. good. Like, next, I'm good. Next confession. Next confession. my face, I'm suing you. I lie when I say I have plans and can't hang out. Usually, I just don't <laughs> want to go. All right. Count three. Ready? Three, two, two one. <laughs> I said that for me. <laughs> Was it you? <laughs> Was it you? <laughs> I thought it was Jake because, for those of you who don't know, Jake strongly dislikes all of us whenever we try and make plans. He has something already. I don't oh well, no! The thing is, like, <laughs> like I would rather like. He's hold on, just let me so explain. popular. It's I would fun. rather like chill and like watch the Yankee game sometimes. That's that so was the original thing, which like is kind of a loser. That's why it's a convention. Okay, sit down. Um, sorry, sitting. Sit back but, like, down. Okay, let's play the game. Sometimes like I don't. Sit back down. Yeah, sometimes I'd be like, sorry. Okay, I'm, like, that's you're really not. There's thing, no way you're out of silly string. Don't test it. Yeah, okay. Okay, ready? Wait, I really like. Go. Doesn't. Who cares? Shut up. <laughs> Alright, let's go on to the next. Why confession. Did I get, why did I get recruited for only this second? Confession Sorry. number three, because we all love you and the viewers want to see your You're beautiful the best face. Dylan, we love you. Okay, I 
have never been to Chipotle. On the count of three. Three, two, one. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Oh. It was me. Of course it was you. Oh. Look, look how nice I was to you. my shoe. This stuff is disgusting. Yeah, really. Why can't it be something like I'm a taking lesser? Shoes. These are my first days of I'm shoes. taking a shower. I got these shoes yesterday. I had the, blue, the, the highlighter blue shoes. I like them. Okay, let's... All right, ready? Cool. Let's, let's also, no face shots, please. You don't like the highlighter blue This is such a fun game. I like the highlighter blue. Yeah. All right, ready? I once broke a window in an abandoned house, and it was on recording. <laughs> All right, three. Oh no, my thing's broken. Ah! Uh, fix it. Uh, three, three, two, one. Two, one. <laughs> ah! Stop! <laughs> Who was it? Me. <laughs> this is a lovely game. Let's move on to the next confession. I failed the first Algebra 2 test last year. All right. <laughs> Ready? Three. Two, one. <laughs> Another one, Jake! <laughs> Who was it? Jake! <laughs> I was gonna say, I think, I'm pretty sure you're the only one. Dude, I'm like out. I was there! I'm like out of silly Were you in Algebra 2 last year? Yes! Oh. With him. Sit, sit back down, Jacob. I Fun um, fact, he also failed the first freak out test. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. I want to go home. Fun fact, I'm not really good at these uh, first tests. But then it's okay. Okay. I feel the, icky. It was algebra CP, too. The next, Shut up, the next confession. I have never had a Dr. Pepper. Three, two, one. All right, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. the hell. Oh, my God. Oh, they ah. hit you. I hate the producers of this show to put me on this and only me. Like, I should get, the like, The producers are here, here, here. I just wanted to hang out I was you. supposed to eat pizza on my segment, and now I'm getting silly strings. Who I want it? to go me. Home. I knew it was you. Yeah, I don't drink soda. Okay. Makes sense. Don't worry, guys. Producer. Only two only two you more remaining. Producer. And then we're going to spend, like, an hour having to quit this. This is terrible. My dad's going to kill me. Yeah, do you yeah. know about this? <laughs> no. Is he coming home anytime <laughs> soon? He's going to be happy. Stop. Okay, ready? Uh, I had an accident on the playground in fourth grade. He's a little old to be having an accident. Yeah, I Three, two, one. Hey! All right, all right! How was the face? Not the face, dude. It was me. Ah! It was you. Everyone looked at me for some reason. Why did everyone look at me? Alex, I think that's a sign. You just seem like the pee on, or pee on the playground kind of person. So let's think All about right. this. Let's think about All this right. logically. Who is the one person who hasn't had two? I, I, I don't remember. It was one of you. I actually think it's... I once accidentally kicked a bunny rabbit. <laughs> okay, okay, we all know who this Ready. is. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no! That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> Why are you going between my legs? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you kick a run and Why do you kick a bunny rabbit? It was an accident. Yeah, that's what you get for kicking a bunny rabbit. That's the karma guy. I don't need to. Ah, this stuff is disgusting. Uh, back to you, future Sam. All right, all right, all right. That was, well, first of all, I, I just want to thank past Sam for handing it off back to me. I, I really like how we coordinated that bit. Thank you, past Sam. I just want to say that, that in theory, that segment sounded like it would be a lot of fun. <laughs> And then when we had to clean up the porches. I'm going to be honest, the uh, aftermath was... It was a little not so it fun. It may not have been worth it, but, you know, it was fun it for was a little fun. bit. It was fun. It was fun. My dad didn't think it was so fun when he yeah, came home. But uh, it was scented, too. The silly string. Yeah, that, that was, was the mild, worst part. Mild, I was that smelling was that you. fake, gross oh. grape flavor. Oh. Yeah, I came home and my mom was like, why do you smell like it was, it, was, it was disgusting. But uh, anyways, we got to move on into our third and final segment. We're going to call this one Explain This. So we're going to show two pictures from Jake, that, two random pictures that we have of Mr. Goldstein from the past, then the same for Alex, and then the same for me. And you have to explain how you got yourself into that situation. All right, I let's have um, not seen these pictures, neither of us have way. seen these. And neither have I. This is going to be oh, brutal. You have pictures as well? I have pictures as well. This I haven't seen them. This is going to be brutal. All right, let's, uh, let's do Jake's first picture. Mm. 
I'm excited for this. I know. I really am excited. Uh, okay. Let's. So, um. <laughs> Uh, uh, so I, so I, I have an idea of when your pictures are from, Jake. I think yours are like really early, like 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 fourth grade, Jake, oh. way back in the day. Oh, I don't even remember. So if I'm gonna for be able those to get of you that. who don't know, Jake used to wear these bright green and black glasses that, you know, every time yeah. I see them make me a little yeah. happier. Yeah. Not these. Yeah. Not these. Jake looks beautiful in these gorgeous. Glasses. Alex, we actually had to reach out to a friend of yours. I heard about this. Pictures. I'm I'm a little scared, but I think we might just I think we might just do one picture east each. I think that would be that would be that would be safest. That would probably that be would safer. Probably be but um that would make sense. But yeah, I know, know I know Miles has some uh <laughs> I know Miles has some uh, good pictures on there. Yeah. There I'm a little afraid as well. My office hours image may be shattered shortly. Oof. You know, especially if you can't explain it. Especially if I can't, some I might not be able to explain it. The backstory. That's is the name of the segment. Often the best time, right? That's true. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna take this time before we get into that segment to just say that next week we do not have a show due to Rosh Hashanah. Uh, me, I will be I will be spending my day sitting next to my lovely grandparents in Temple, saying. See you there. Uh -huh. Yeah, I will see Alex there too. I'll see Rabbi Simeon there too. We love you, Rabbi Simeon. We love you, Rabbi Simeon. Uh, but the week after that, boy, do we have a show planned out for you guys. Uh, it's going to be... It'll be a good one. It'll be a good one, to say the least. I'm excited. I just want to say I feel like I've been robbed. Jake and I were supposed to be on that episode, and then yeah. a, oh, little, a little switcheroo happened. Okay, and we, uh, but, like but now you have your own episode. This is, we're having a lot of fun. We are right. having a lot of we fun. We are having quite Silly a lot of fun. Silly String may have not been that not was so, fun. so fun. much fun. In finding but, Silly String um, pockets. All right, let's go to, we're going to do one picture each. Let's uh, go oh. to Jake's first picture for Explain This. Oh, <laughs> 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 okay. When oh, did this happen? So this happened, that's a cool picture. So that happened, co that was during COVID, uh, like the 2020. 2020 was, I think, ninth grade. I yeah. think it was ninth grade and... Eighth grade. Eighth grade to ninth grade. Yeah. I think it was in ninth grade. Okay. Okay. And? And maybe eighth grade. I'm not sure. And? And <laughs> me, uh, Noah Shangled, and Jake Hushkin all, uh, it was near, I think it was the summer of COVID, so we had a bunch of uh, those fire rafts, whatever you call them, like the... Uh, like the things you put on birthday cakes and it, you know, lights sparklers. up. Yeah, sparklers. Thank you. So we had a bunch of sparklers, so we lit them up. That was a fun night. Okay. I uh, I think I burned myself. <laughs> That's lovely. But that is something we. Uh, All right, fun times. Let's um, I think we're gonna go to Alex's picture now. Alex, uh, do us a favor and explain this. Uh, well, it's kind of hard to see, but there there's can Alex. Get that, can we get that back up for a second, looking, please? Looking looking. Nice and I can't even tell where, I can't tell where I am in that picture. You're holding up a four, I think. I'm holding we up. We went a four. to a good friend of yours. Oh, picture. okay. I, I do know exactly when that was. So it was after the first day of school this year. Me and a couple of my friends went to Tony Boys, and you know, it was my first time having Tony Boys since being back from camp, and it was truly a spiritual experience, and yeah. Spiritual experience. So that's how you would describe it—a spiritual experience. You, anyone who knows me knows Tony Boys I, is love I love my Tony, Tony Boys, Boys more than anyone else on earth. We need to. You know what I think I might Boys get? Sponsor Can we do a Tony Boys review? Tony Boys review. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Now I don't know if I want Tony Boys or uh, Waffle P and J when I get home. Why don't you do a little bit of both? Maybe. That will be. You said you can't. Well. All right. Uh, so I think now we're going to go into my explain this picture. Let's see what I have to explain now. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, was that Zam? That was. Um, I'm. I have no idea when that was taken. I have. I have my shades on. I look pretty cool in the picture. To be fair. You I'm, do look kind of cool. I'm pretty it's sure nice. I was filming one of my my your movies. movies. Yep. One of my movies. All of you have have had experience on my movie sets. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have much experience. 
and as you all know, I take I take my roles very seriously. You see the suit and the shades. But um, yeah, all right. That concludes this week's episode. I certainly had a lot of fun. I had I had a good time. Yeah, it's uh, cool being on this side of the camera. It is cool being on this side of the camera. Uh, by the way, I am really sweating right now still. I'm sure you are. All right, These well. cameras are very, uh, the lights are hot. The lights are hot. Well, I would like to thank all of you for tuning in this week. Next week, we do not have a show, but we have a show after that. I want to thank the entire crew of Office Hours. I want to thank my director, Mr. Miles Zacks. I want to thank Mr. Daly for letting us use his space. I want to thank Mr. Goldstein and Mr. Alex Block for uh, being here today. And thank I you. want to just say shout out to Hudson for being awesome. Uh, I think that's it. We will all see you not next week, but the week after. Have fun, everybody. So long. Thank you. Sam Shamrock signing off.